this final segment of the show for today. We talked to Dr. Leonard Madhu, and he has given us some information over the first two segments dealing with mining companies and environmental pollution in Africa. And it appears from what he has said is that the only entity that t tends to uh, suffer in this kind of situation are the people. Uh, well, Dr. Madhu, let's uh, continue to uh, talk about some of the problems that, uh, uh, that all of this pollution is having on the population itself. Yeah. And like I was saying before, they come in, they find oil here, they pitch their tent and start mining without due consideration to the environment. Like I was saying, in this country, large areas of Alaska are off limits for, for drilling, you know, mm -hmm. because people say, no, you can't drill there because a lot of important birds and animals and all this are there. Why? In Africa, no, they won't think like that. Those oil companies would demolish houses without Wherever they find oil, yeah, they, they drill. they buy oil, they drill, mm -hmm. and the people who own the land and who own the houses are not paid adequately. Now, they will say, oh, yeah, we pay compensation. But there's a big co difference legally between paying compensation and paying adequate compensation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if my house is worth a million dollars and you demolish it and pay me 50000 it's not adequate compensation. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when the people speak up, oh, they send soldiers to... To, to, you know, to drive them away or get arrested or you might even be killed. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's not regulated the way it's regulated here. Mm -hmm. And that's what most people in Africa want to see. The way you drill in the United States, the way you drill in Western Europe, that's where we want you to drill in Africa. Mm -hmm. You respect the environment and respect the people's mm -hmm. land. Mm -hmm. You know, pay adequate compensation, clean the oil when you spill, mm -hmm. not leave it the way it is. Mm -hmm. Now, to the credit of some of the mining companies, at times they get the local companies to clean, mm -hmm. you know, their mess. But those local companies will not clean anything. They get paid, mm -hmm. but they leave without cleaning. Mm -hmm. And the government will not do anything because most of the time they're in cahoots with the government officials mm -hmm. or the government itself mm -hmm. in order to get some kickbacks. That's a big problem. Most of the old you know, use computers, mm -hmm. and all these are dumped in Africa. Mm -hmm. The residues of oil mm -hmm. are dumped in Africa. A few years ago, in, in 2006, mm -hmm. a company called Trafigera, mm -hmm. which says is the largest privately owned oil, mm -hmm. you know, uh, entity in the world, mm -hmm. dumped thousands and thousands of tons of toxic mm -hmm. materials in the Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. you know, on the shores of Abidjan. Mm -hmm. Eventually, thousands of people started getting ill, you know, from diseases they don't know about. Mm -hmm. Never had before, Never but had all of a sudden before. they've got everybody yeah. getting the same exactly. disease. All of a sudden everybody's getting sick. Mm -hmm. The people started complaining, the company shot his ear, and eventually he got sued and all that, and they agreed to pay compensation to over 31,000 people mm -hmm. who got sick because of it. Mm -hmm. Why did they allow them to dump it there? Mm -hmm. No, because some government officials turned their mm -hmm. eyes elsewhere, got their own money in their pocket, mm -hmm. and let them dump and kill their people, mm -hmm. okay? In Zambia, even now, in Kabwe, a place they call Kabwe, mm -hmm. people are getting sick because the water they are using to take a bath, the water they are drinking is contaminated by lead Mm. And copper, okay, and nothing is done about it. Mm. Now the Chinese who are coming into Africa, mm -hmm. that's another problem. Everybody's saying, "Oh, Chinese are in Africa now; they are doing so well here and there." They happen to be the worst polluters now in Africa. Mm. A lot of places where they they are mining and all these Africans are treated like dogs, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. worse than mm -hmm. other 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 you know countries who have come to Africa to mm -hmm. to do business. Yeah, they don't care about the environment. Mm -hmm. They dump things anywhere and abuse their, 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 their employers. Now, having said that, what do we expect from the African governments? Mm -hmm. People expect them to hold these companies, mm -hmm. these mining companies, accountable mm -hmm. for their actions, OK? Mm -hmm. These are their people. But what has been obtaining in the past 50 to 60 years mm -hmm is that these companies are what? Laws unto mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. At times, these companies really control the, the government, government of those countries. Uh -huh. The influence okay. of money and wealth. Exactly. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Sometimes these, these companies really run the countries indirectly mm. because even the, the from the president on one down has been paid off, mm. you know, by the huge sums of money mm -hmm. that accrues from mining, you mm -hmm. know, particularly, you know, with oil. Mm -hmm. So they turn their face somewhere else while these, you know, companies mm -hmm. are busy looting. Take, for example, we are just mentioned, Bayelsa State in Nigeria, mm -hmm. or River State in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. In fact, their, their gross you know, domestic product, or their monthly income, really, mm -hmm. is higher than almost half of the other African, African countries. It's just a mm -hmm. few states mm -hmm. in, in where the oil comes from. Mm -hmm. But what do those governments do with the money? Nothing but put it in their pockets and reels and nothing for the people. Exactly, put it in their pockets and, and then disappear. Mm -hmm. One of the former governors now named, named uh, Alamiesa, mm -hmm. yeah, he was arrested in London where he had, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank. He ran away. And that one called James Ibori, mm -hmm. he was the governor of Irish, you know, Delta State. Mm -hmm. He's still in, in London now in jail for stealing you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, mm -hmm. you know, for himself. There was no end to their greed. Is there's, that what, I there's, mean, there's, there's, no there's no appropriate kind of stealing that they do. They want it, they want it all. Is that Every, it? Exactly. Uh -huh. they, yeah, no, nothing. It's just not take a dollar and leave mm -hmm. the rest for the mm -hmm. people. No, it's clean everything mm -hmm. and let every, everybody else be poor mm -hmm. and you are the only king in, in there. Mm -hmm. That's part of the problem. And even people in Africa and Nigeria understand that that if the, if the politicians are not in cahoot mm -hmm. with these mining companies, they cannot get away with what they are doing, mm -hmm. you see? So whenever they come in and they are they're in cahoot with the government, then they are empowered mm -hmm. to keep, you know, mm -hmm. polluting and not being accountable, mm -hmm. you know? You, I, I mentioned uh, Patrice Lumumba when we started here. Mm -hmm. That's part of what, why he died. Mm -hmm. Because the Union Minier de Haute de Katanga, the mm -hmm. Northern Miner, you know, Mineral Company of Northern Katanga mm -hmm. from Belgium, owned the rise to the copper mines mm -hmm. in Katanga, mm -hmm. which is called Shaba now. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Lumumba was going to nationalize mm -hmm. you know, the copper, mm -hmm. copper mines and all that. Mm -hmm. So they knew that, and the only way to deal with it is to get rid of him early mm -hmm. so that they could keep, you know, the, 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 the right to mine and pollute and do whatever they want. So outright assassination and, mm -hmm. and killing anybody who might talk about reform or anything is one of the things that generally happen to any kind of ref There are no reformers in, in, in reference to some of these issues. Is that what we're saying? Uh, that's correct because a lot of these oil companies and mining companies have a lot of money to buy off some of the greedy politicians who, are, who do not anyway mm -hmm. have the interests of their people at heart. Mm -hmm. You know, some things that they could not do in mm -hmm. this country or any other part of the world where you have to account mm -hmm. to the people for whatever you do. Well, Dr. Mundu, last minute we, got, we have here, uh, 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 is there a solution to the, this? Uh, it seems that this is not, there's no solution to this kind of issue, is there? Well, I, I, I think the, the solution is that the governments in Western Europe or in the United States here, you know, have to prevail on these oil companies, you know, that do business in Africa, mm -hmm. say, hey, if you don't maintain the standards over there that you do here, here uh -huh. then we have to sanction, mm -hmm. you know, those companies. Like Chevron is from the U.S., mm -hmm. you know, and all the rest. We have to put some sanctions on you until, mm -hmm. you know, you start acting proper over there mm -hmm. as far as environmental controls mm -hmm. are concerned. Well, that, 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 that seems to be a, such mm -hmm. a long, long shot, and so mm -hmm. many people would suffer between now and then that it's a very, very discouraging kind of situation. And I think that oftentimes we talk about uh, Africa really coming back from mm -hmm. uh, some real problems, but there are still some real problems in Africa. Is that right? Abs absolutely. Mm -hmm. And insofar as mm -hmm. environmental degradation and pollution is concerned. Very good. And, of course, Dr. Mu, we, we thank you for that. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of comments. Thank you and good morning.